Oh boy. Let's continue with this uh, shenanigan. Okay. Two squares of side length 3 overlap so that the shared region is a square of side length 1. Two squares overlap. Oh, so that the shaded region is a square. Okay. Compute the area of the smallest hexagon that covers the two squares. I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to cheat a little bit. Please don't get mad at me. But I'm, I'm going to cheat a little bit. So, we have this hexagon. Oh, okay. So then, okay. Now it's so much easier to see now. So instead, we can constructively find the area like this. So the smallest area would be 27. I, I think that's that would be my answer. Well, that was a lot easier than I expected. What the hell? Why can't I just get that problem? Okay, I kind of cheated there, but I'm not mathematically gifted. There is a group of kawaii femboys and goth buddhas. They are arranged in a tank formation such that there are exactly three femboys in each row, exactly five buddhas in each column. There are several sizes? What is the sum of the- Wait, you're telling you- Okay. Hmm. How the hell am I going to construct this? So, okay, I actually need to see this again. So, if I were to make a row, then the rest will be F. Oh, what am I doing? No, why did I write F, F? Uh, I don't know why I wrote it like that. So, three... Oh, wait, no, you have to have three in a column. No, no, three in a row. But we can have five. Is there a restriction? It is exactly three femboys. Oh, no, no, in each row. Okay, but it doesn't matter how many in a column. Okay, so then we can have two, three, four, five, and then, oh no, but in each column I need to fill in, oh, oh, my god. oh this is so torture, oh my god, I have to write this whole, okay. I think, I think this, oh no, no, because we, we need five more, we need ten more for the rest. I'm not going to write that, but we, I get the idea now, okay. We have a four by twenty, okay. <laughs> it's so, this is so bad, this is so menacing, okay. Three in a row. What else can we... Oh, we can shift it. We can shift it, actually. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, well, I, I believe I found another. Okay. I'm able to have four because of three M in a row. And I'm able to have six because of 5F in the column. I think that's about it. Right? So I think it's just these two. Or is there more? <laughs> is there... Oh god. The worst thing you can ever say to me is prove that there are no other squares. That is the worst thing you can ever tell me. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. I don't. Ah, oh, I hate combinatorics. Okay. Where do I even begin with this? Another? Each. Oh, can we go like. Oh, we can continue? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, it's still a 9x6. Okay. Huh. Okay. No, then I, I'm pretty sure this is the only two areas. I, if there's a third one, I'm, I'm going to say 134. 
That's gonna be my answer. 134. Suppose you have theta between the unit circle. Uh, and then sine theta is equal to negative one third and tangent theta is less than zero. What is the positive value of cosine theta over two? If tangent theta is less than zero, then cosine theta is greater than zero. The reason why I'm saying this is because we already have sine theta less than zero. So if sine theta is less than zero and tangent theta is less than zero, then cosine theta has to be greater than zero. Oh! Oh, I just, okay, hold on. Let's, let's take a step back. Okay. We're gonna, okay. Watch this. Watch, watch very carefully. You know what? So sine of x plus one is equal to two-thirds. The reason why I added one is so that now I can go like this sine of x over two plus cosine of x over two squared. Ah! And then and then we can square root this. What is this equal? <laughs> <laughs> what? What does this equal? Ah! Uh, I thought there was freedom. Okay. Ooh, hold on, wait, wait, wait a minute. We did, we do know that this... This was, let's see, 2 was negative 1, 6. Huh. Oh no! No! I don't want to do this! Come on! Oh my god. Let. Oh my god. I don't want to do this. This is so tedious. Let this equal to alpha, let this equal to beta. Do, do you guys do you guys see where this is going? You, do you, do you see where this is going? Cuz I I really hope you guys do. And whoever made this problem, you're 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 going to hell for this. This this is I don't, it's not even, none of these coefficients are integers. Oh my god. Alpha square, I'll write it here, alpha square. Oh my god. Uh, ew. Disgusting. So. So, I should have solved for B rather than A, <laughs> but now that I'm already here, now now that I'm al I'm already here at this point, you might as well plug it in and then solve for B. I'm I'm already at this stage. You you might as well just finish it. This was nicer because now when I solve for this with beta, beta is equal to. You guys, do you guys under do you guys realize what what I just did what I what I did wrong? Be, this is alpha. If if this is alpha, then this should be this this should be negative. I'm not gonna I'm I'm not gonna rationalize it. Okay, there you go. There you go. Ah. <sighs> You guys, this is...
This is number 13. This is the third problem of this video. <laughs> the two equal sides of an isosceles triangle lie on the line. So given... Oh my god, I don't... <laughs> Please, no more graphing. Oh my god. <sighs> given by the equations y equals 7x and y equals negative x. And its third side passes through the point. Find an equation of the line containing the third side. Oh my god. Oh. oh my god. Coordinate geometry. Who likes coordinate geometry? No one. No one likes coordinate geometry. I'm sorry. But no one no one likes coordinate geometry. Okay. Oh my god. I can't believe I'm drawing a graph. Look look at look at this dude here. Drawing having to draw a, an XY plane. Wow. I should probably call it this. I should probably call it this. Alright, it's not a cubic function, I promise. It's it's 7x. Two, the two equal sides of an isosceles triangle lie on the lines given. Oh, shit. So I have to find a third line that goes 1 to negative 10. That's 1 to negative 10. 1 to negative 10? That's like somewhere here. Oh, Jesus Christ. And I have to find a third line going through here such that when I make the third line, it forms an isosceles triangle. <laughs> okay. That looks like a... A person's this is me this is this is me how I feel um, oh no I need that point so we have <laughs> so I don't want to do this so let's find this line let's find this line right y equals mx plus b so I need to find m such that this forms an isosceles triangle. Alright, silver. We're counting on you. We're, we're, um... This is a... Uh, I gotta, I gotta pretend this is like a NASA. We need to save someone from space. How, how can we... How can I find this line of equation? All I can see is my, my beautiful face here. But... I... I don't know. I don't know. Well, actually, I have an idea. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So then, wait, okay, hold on, stop. We're gonna stop. What do I do? Ah! 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 Okay. The distance. I don't know where I'm going with this. The distance. The distance. Yeah, yeah, okay. From the origin, the distance here to here. X1. Oh! Oh my god, what am I doing? Wait, so then... M, we, we can find M. We can find M. We can find M, yes. Yes, we can. We can find M. Oh my god. Why didn't I... Ah! X1 minus 1 minus plus 10. Oh my god. So... Oh! And then we plug that in here. Oh! Oh! Okay! So... Oh, it's... Oh! Huh. Huh. Let's plug in x1 with 25. How, how, let's let's do that, right? So, 25... We'll start with plus... Wait, there's plus or minus? Oh, there's two lines! Oh, sh there's two lines! There's two lines, actually. Right? One can go here, and then one where you can go, like, something like this. And then somehow this is an isosceles triangle. 
Oh my god. I do want to stop though. Now that I mean, I I technically figured out the solution, but okay. Well, I'll I'll continue. I'll continue. Minus twenty. Twenty. Let's start with positive. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh why? This is so disgusting. I don't want. I genuinely don't want to do this. Oh my god, I hate coordinate geometry. Alright. Next problem, please. Because that's a disgusting quadratic. Let me add, you know what, this video is long enough. Let me make a, a different part.